Hey guys, Ricky here with Apple Valley Farm. Thank you so much for being here with me for a few minutes today. I've got something to share with you and it is a very pressing matter. Hey, thank you guys for being here. I've got a quick project I want to share with you. Technically, we're not building something, but we are putting something together here in the shop. And, and I think this will be interesting to you. Let me show you the tool that I'm working with, and then I'll explain it a, a little more. Okay, so this is my drill press, and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. In case you can't tell, though, it's sitting down here on the floor and it only comes up, uh, it's only about maybe 32 inches off the ground. Obviously I can't work with that. And obviously I can't pick it up every time I want to do something with it because this sucker is heavy. You'll see over here, uh, ignore the junk, but you see I've got my bandsaw up on this stand right here and it's great. But I'm cheap, I don't want to buy another one of those stands, so what am I to do? So I was actually going to just build me a stand and I was gonna share that with you. And, and I could do that. Um, it wouldn't be that difficult and it would probably still be pretty interesting. But I ran across something as we were doing some, uh, some cleaning in Jude in my son's room the other day. And we ran across something that seemed to just be perfect. So in the middle of reclaiming pallets, we also reclaim a lot of wood spools. <laughs> And now I don't do a lot with these because I don't like the plywood tops. I like more of the, the slat tops. But anyway, we had this one in Jude's room and it's about 28 inches tall. And I thought, you know what? What? We can put this up on top of that. Maybe put some casters down on the bottom of it. That would be cool. This is gonna be awesome. All right, let's see how it works. All right, so I think we can make this work. It's, uh, it's, there's not a lot to do to this thing, really. I'm just gonna put some casters, some locking casters on the bottom, and that's it. And then I'm just gonna bolt the drill press to the top of it I think that's it. All right, so let's just do that. I just want to make sure mainly that I get the casters uh, evenly spaced out on corners because otherwise, if we don't, then I'm afraid it'll get a little wanky. Uh, so I want to make sure that we have four casters on here at exactly north, south, east, and west points on the bottom of this. So with that, let's mark this off and then let's mount these casters on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find what is roughly the middle of this hole. And then I'm gonna draw a line. Uh-oh. I'm gonna draw a line across that. That's what I'm gonna do. I believe this is my reference point. It doesn't have to be exact but it does need to be pretty close. And I don't want this coming out on a hole or on a cleat because I need the caster to be as far out to the edge as possible. That'll give it as much stability as possible. Now I'm gonna take just a speed square and I'm going to try to find what is a 90 degree angle. And again, so I'm going to put this on my reference line and bring the corner pretty much to the middle, what, what looks to me like the middle of that hole. And then I'm going to draw a line out. Now I take my straight edge and extend that line in both directions. See what I'm doing? Now, now, we should have a perfect X 
north, south, east, west. I'll measure in and then we'll put the casters on each of these lines. Okay, so you may notice that it doesn't exactly look like I've got the drill press centered on the spool, and that is because most, I would, I would say 90% of the weight and the motor here is right here on this shaft. So I want this as close to the middle as possible. Now there are bolts up under here, so I've got this over one and scoot it as far that way as I can. That way it gets hopefully the mass of this over the middle of, of the spool. And that way it's a lot less likely to tip over. I like it. All right, now let's bolt this down. Just to let you know, and this is just the nature of doing things on the fly like this, we have to adjust because things don't always go the way that we think they would. I was going to just bolt this down with some lag bolts, but I don't happen to have any here. So I was going to use some deck screws, but I don't know if that's going to be secure enough. So I thought, well, okay, I've got some uh, four inch carriage bolts and wing nuts and stuff. So I thought, okay, I'll just do that right here. Uh, that's not going to work either because that hole would go down inside of here which i can't get to to put the nut on the end of it so we're going to just and and i know that this has a purpose other than me putting a bolt down through here but for now i'm going to just drill holes down in here put our lag bolts there and then i'll go up under here with a wing nut and tighten it all down and that should be <laughs> Ah, that should be it. All right, let's see if that works. stoked this turned out really really good this wire spool is awesome it's like it's the perfect vehicle for tool mounting and moving it is i'm gonna do more of this man i'm excited thank y'all for being here with me and exploring this and figuring this out hey, if you have any questions about this let me know leave them in the comments or you can send me a message over at info at applevalleyfarmga.com. You can hook up with us over at www.applevalleyfarmga.com or on any of your favorite social media sites. We should be here, there, and everywhere. Hey, thank you for hanging out with us here for a few minutes. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you learned something, and I hope you will tell your friends about it. Thank you so much for all your likes, comments, and everyone who subscribes to our YouTube channel. We love you. We need you. Have a great day. Take care. Be safe. Go make something.